What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. All this dog food, I'ma go crazy. Welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. And in this one. We got a bunch of treats from National Dog Day, which was my last video. A bunch of different dog food samples. We got Natural Balance, Taste of the Wild, Nutrisource, some human food. Last but not least, some blue buffalo. I've always wanted to try out the blue buffalo. We're gonna be giving all of these to all of my dogs and finding out what dog food all of my dogs prefer. Let me know in the comments which one you think Crypto is gonna prefer. My bet is gonna be on the taste of the wild just because there's a wolf on it. This one right here needs to be um, cooked up. Pretty sure I'm gonna feed this to the rat. This one right here, the guy said that you could add some warm water to it or you could just feed it to him like this. Let's go ahead and get set up inside. Taste of the wild. Nutrisource. Blue Buffalo. Let's go ahead and cook up this dog food. Mix four ounces ground meat, your choice preference, on this bag of grain free and two cups boiling water to yield three one cups. Oh, I am so confused. Let's go ahead and find out just exactly which one he prefers. Get it, all right? He licked the taste of the wild. And there you go. That's the opinion of the rat. Wait. Look at me. Here. Get it. Oh my gosh. My prediction was so right. Natural balance. Looks like he's munching out on the natural balance. He's not even paying attention to the blue buffalo or the nutri source. Nope. Completely ignored the blue buffalo. There he goes. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> He's making a huge mess. Every dog is completely different. Your dog might completely love blue buffalo. He went straight for the natural balance, followed by the taste of the wild. He completely ignored the, oh, there he goes. He's just a fat ass, he loves them all. He went for the natural balance first, followed by the taste, followed by Nutrisource, and he's barely getting to the blue buffalo. Granted, I feed this dog pedigree. These dog foods are much more expensive than pedigree. Offered you some, you didn't want none. <laughs> Oh my god, Whippity. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Let's see which one he chooses. Get it. I don't know why. He's a swallower, I like it. Natural balance, you are the clear winner. 
Not sure what it is about it, but maybe the scent. He looks tired. <laughs> there he goes. Nope, he dropped it. Let's bring in the strawberry tree and see what he prefers. Wow, he wants to go upstairs. Oh, he went for the blue buffalo. Milo has little teeth. It looks like he preferred the Nutrisource. Might be because it's really small. This is natural balance and taste of the wild. Now let's try it. Someone actually told me that Blue Buffalo had a couple recalls. I'm not sure about that. I haven't done research on that. Nutrisource is puppy food. That's why the pellets are smaller. You're supposed to feed your dog puppy food until they're one year and three months old. I started feeding crypto adult food since he was a young puppy just because the strawberry tree was already eating kibble the mailman's here and guess what's in the mail today nismo's harness okay deep breaths you better all right dog all right <laughs> he goes right back <laughs> Boom, we got the freaking bird harness. Let's go ahead and do the exact same test with crypto, but we're gonna be switching them all around. You're so overweight, Milo. Nutrisource. There goes the rat trying to get some leftovers. It says, if your pet isn't harness trained, please remove the abdominal belt and intentionally work only with the head loop. Getting your pet head loop trained is vital to success. It's tiny. I recently purchased a harness for my bird. It's pretty thin leather. Oh gee. This is the six foot leash. Practice installing and adjusting the harness quickly using a stuffed toy animal. Slowly introduce your pet to the harness. Once your pet is comfortable with the harness, put it on. The new Avian Web Easy Bird Harness. Forcing the harness on it will result in failure. You need for him to connect the harness with going outside. Here's Nismo. Here's Nismo. If you guys aren't familiar with millet, it's a bird's candy. Calm down, Nismo. There's a lot of noises that are tripping him out at the moment, including the damn rat barking. I will be doing some off-camera harness training. So if you guys do purchase this harness or any harness, I'm gonna be teaching you guys exactly what you guys have to do in order to accustom your bird to the harness. Let him look at the harness. I did remove the belt. The first step you're gonna wanna do is you want to get your millet and just hold your harness next to your bird. If you notice that your bird's kinda backing away, wanting to fly, back off, give him some space, let him get comfortable again. The harness does have some padding The next step you would want to do, put the harness in front of your bird so that he has to reach his head through the harness. That's not going to be done in the first day. Your first day, you should want your bird to get accustomed to the harness. Really good way to prepare for harness training would have to be to introduce your pet to new items every day. Show him a pen, show him a chapstick, anything and everything that you can show your bird that isn't harmful, just so he could get less timid, keeping these dudes entertained is your biggest priority nobody wants a sad bird he has been noticing the harness which is all we want in the first day he's doing really good with the training go bird nismo go bird nismo as you guys can see he's getting closer and closer he's moving more and more around he's allowing me to put the harness closer to him 
so he's getting more comfortable with it. If your bird isn't tamed, this will be impossible. Your bird has to be accustomed to you in order for you to harness train your bird. You first have to tame your bird. Come on, Ismo. If your bird's thinking of doing something, reward them. High reward, low performance is what you want to do when you're first starting off your bird with harness training. Reward them for allowing you to put the harness close to them. I will be making more videos as he progresses. He's really close to the harness and he doesn't really mind it unless I make sudden movements. After your bird starts getting accustomed to the harness, you want to move it around. It's also really important that you verbally praise your bird. What is that? Now you don't want your bird to start biting it. Don't allow your bird to bite the belt or any part of the harness or else they will think it's all right. He's really curious about it and he really wants to bite it. Let's go ahead and let him feel it. <laughs> He's like, ooh, Tuscan letter. Jeez. That's it on the first episode. I did make the mistake of actually putting the harness on him and he tripped out. He started flying everywhere so I had to catch him and take it off of him. So don't make the mistake of putting the harness on. Make sure your bird's accustomed to it. This will take maybe about a week. <laughs> So after a week, I'll get back to you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow my Snapchat and my Instagram at KZE underscore production.